it means that you're not just sitting at home saying, gee, I hope this works out right. You are, you're all activists in your own way. Once we have picked a nominee, please don't assume that everyone you know is going to get out and vote. That's right. And don't assume that if they really are angry about how this choice was made, if they are even vaguely inclined to stay at home and not vote, talk to them, educate them, look at them in the eye and say, Supreme Court. Okay? Yeah. Thanks for coming out this evening. And uh, we can have to go. And that's, uh, we, we registered hundreds of thousands of new voters who wouldn't even have bothered to register to vote if it wasn't for the primary being state, and if they hadn't bothered to register to vote, they wouldn't be able to vote in the general election. So it's like cool stuff is happening as a result of this. That's the upside. The downside, though, that I'm getting in my email is that three months ago, most of the emails that I got from the pro-Obama folks, this is setting aside the stuff that just has to do with trashing me in the show. I mean, you know what you wish. People who say, how dare you say anything good about Hillary? You must be, you know, a toady for Mark Green or something. And, and, and uh, who's the president of America. And is, I guess, I, I don't think he's come out in favor of anybody, but, you know, people think he's in favor of Hillary Clinton. Or, how dare you say that you donated money to the Barack Obama campaign? You must be a toady for... Uh, for uh, Charlie Kirker, who's the chairman of Air America, who's both of whose sons are paid employees of the Obama campaign, and Charlie spent the week of uh, the uh, South Carolina primaries literally going door to door in South Carolina, knocking on doors. So here we've got dueling, you know, the chairman and the president, right? And I, I'm sorry, I'm not speaking for anybody except me. But in any case, this disturbing trend that I've seen, and 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 in speaking for me, I'm. I'm trying to speak for what's best for America first, and for the party second, and, and well, and for the world. <laughs> but this disturbing trend that I've seen that I'd like to address is that two, three months ago, the Obama folks who were sending me emails were sending me emails about all the wonders of Obama. This is, this is the good stuff about this guy. And the Clinton supporters were sending me emails about all the wonders of Hillary Clinton. Here's why her health care plan is better. Here's her position on this, this, you know, this. And, and, and they were largely proactive and positive. Over the last two months, I'm getting from, and in many cases, these are from people that I've known for a long time and who are political activists, some, some fairly high profile political activists who are, and bloggers who are sending out emails and, and, and blog posts. I'm getting from the Hillary camp. I, just yesterday, I got one a, a long screed that, that, you know, here's how she can win, and here's the good stuff, and it all sounded really nice, and then I get to this cartoon that's a personal attack, basically, on Obama, you know, just a, you know, making fun of his ears or something, and something, and, and, and devolving, and it kind of devolved into a, into a, well, just a negative rant. And similarly, I'm getting emails from Obama folks saying, you know, well, this is a good about Obama, and this is good about Obama, but let me tell you what's really bad about Hillary, you know, and, and it's, it, this does not seem healthy to me, that we, this family, are spending more time, or at least as much time, and increasingly more time, hitting each other rather than, you know, reaching out to each other. So...